Teresa, I know that something's bothering you. What's wrong? Each other our whole lives and it's obvious to me that you're worried about something please just tell me what's wrong with you it's it's nothing it's 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 hormones okay you know how pregnant women act weird sometimes thinking you were about to give birth to a demon baby was weird but i know that this is different something is definitely wrong with you and whenever you're this upset ethan is always the one that's involved You know, I've seen you in some really intense situations before, but never like this. Teresa, I'm really worried about you. And you being this upset isn't good for the baby either. I, I appreciate your concern, Whitney. I really do. Well, then tell me what's wrong. I can't. Okay. If you're not going to tell me, then I think you should talk to Luis. I mean, he'll be able to help you with whatever is upsetting you. No, no, no. See, Luis is the last person that I can talk to about this. You know, um, St. Margaret Mary's isn't that far away. I think you should pray to God for help. Maybe. Maybe I can, I can talk to someone who works for God. Someone who is bound by the church never to repeat what I tell him. You mean Father Lonigan? Yes, Father Lonigan. He, he's the one person that may be able to help me, Whitney. Teresa, well, you, you're really scaring me. I'm scared, Whitney. I'm scared, too, okay? You have no idea how scared I am. I, I need to talk to Father Lonigan. Yeah, maybe he can help me. You say that like you're going to confession, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Huh? My name's Huff. Hey, Chad. How you doing? Hey, listen. I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for uh, stopping by the studio and... Listen to my new song. I mean, it really helps me out when uh, I get feedback about my work, especially from people who like music. Um, where's Ethan? Oh, he uh, had to go back to the Crane Mansion. Said he had some stuff to take care of. Well, did he say what, what, what they were? Uh, not really, but uh, my guess is it's probably got something to do with Julian Crane's murder. Yeah, actually, before we left the studio, there was a big old news bulletin. The governor wants Chief Bennett to step up the investigation. He said he wants him to go all out and try to find Julian Crane's murderer. Well, does Chief Bennett have any leads on, on a suspect, or...? Um, not that I know of, but uh, I don't think it's going to take long. Oh, well, why would you say that? <laughs> well, just that, uh, you know, according to the news bulletin, the governor wants uh, Julian Crane's murderer found ASAP. Oh, I'm just even... yeah, I think Ethan was right. I mean, Teresa's acting all besides herself. Did she tell you what the deal was? No, no, no. But whatever has got Teresa so upset is big. Chad, it's huge. What do you think is wrong with Teresa? I don't know. <laughs> she refused to talk to me about it. Yeah, but you guys are tight, right? You, you guys are like best friends. I mean, Teresa and I have known each other ever since we were kids. And she's never kept a secret from me, ever. I mean, she would come to me with all of her problems. <laughs> Whether you'd want to hear them or not, right? You know, whatever's got Teresa this upset has to be something really bad. Well, I don't know. It seems to me like she started really freaking out as soon as I mentioned that the governor asked Chief Bennett to step up his investigation about Julian's murder. Whitney, you don't think that... You think Teresa knows who killed Julian Crane? I 
How could Teresa possibly know anything about Julian's murder? No. No. Please, don't even go there. there... But Whitney, I... look, I'm not accusing Teresa of doing anything, okay? But I'm just saying that maybe that's the reason why she got so upset. Look, for her sake, I hope that she knows nothing about Julian Crane's murder. Well, of course not. Me too. I mean, you know, them Cranes are as mean as they are powerful. And whoever killed Julian Crane, it ain't gonna get off easy. I mean, with the Cranes putting pressure on the judge right now, whoever killed Julian Crane, it's probably gonna go straight to the electric chair. <laughs> 